Hi, good friends. I want to speak to you today from the deepest feelings for our humanity. From the deepest depths of my love and compassion for all. There is only being. Another word for being could be energy. Energy can be formless or appear to temporarily take form. In this world, energy has appeared to contract into forms. Planets, stars, oceans, sky, trees, birds, and apparent separate humans. Every attempt at enlightenment is generated by the ego in human form, looking to improve its life experience or escape some kind of suffering. If an apparent awakening of a Buddha or a Shankara occurs, the true reality or being can be seen in three levels. The first is that the apparent contraction of energy into a certain location called a human being is simply pure function. A functioning organism, like a tree, with no self in it. As Buddha said, all dharmas are empty of a self. The second is that being is only one organism, projecting the appearance of many. So there's only one thing, only one thing, being, awareness, this everything. And at the absolute level, even being and the projection is seen as an illusion the dream, a non-thing, nothing appearing as everything to no one for no reason. Now, these revered and widely available revelations would tend to make one cease attempting to improve its life experience or attain any kind of enlightenment or oneness with pure being as an illusion has no control. And that which is, is already whole, complete, and perfect, needing no improvement or transcending to something better. And yet, within the energy contraction of human beings, life appears to consistently attempt to improve its condition. Awakened insight clarifies this as awareness manifesting as the I thought, the first thought, which creates the ego sense, which in turn causes all other apparently personal thoughts and feelings, and then naturally tries to surmount the difficulties in life and better its condition. But even in an organism with no separate sense of self, like a tree, the tree leans towards the sunlight. It sends its roots in deep search for water and nourishment automatically, looking to flourish and better its condition, better its growth. So, even though there is no findable me or self in all beings and phenomena, and even though reality is just a projection with no findable intention behind it, poetically, we can say it must be being's intention that these energy contractions we call human beings experience the I-ego experience and then experience their 100 or less years 
and any dissatisfaction or suffering as their own personal life, and then crave this improvement. Ultimately, this means that although everything is perfect, remember, there's nothing out of order in the universe. And although there's no need to attain or improve anything, as Ramana says, being is always just being, and there is no realizing it or attaining it. Who is to realize what and how when there is only the one being? Even though the illusory I ego will analyze its condition in life, conclude it is unsatisfactory, and try to change it or enlighten it. Since an illusion can never have any control over going beyond or waking up from the illusion, and the infinitesimally small number of Buddhas and Ramanas out of all the energies that have ever lived in human form show us how extraordinarily rare, virtually non-existent, this full awakening is. All we really can do is show the deepest compassion for all and ourselves. We can practice a path and deep meditation and perhaps gain glimpses or longer periods of seeing the no-self, the oneness of being, and the illusory nature of nothing being everything. Perhaps even experience the boundless bliss and freedom available in that. But as long as we are doing those practices as the ego, yearning to improve its life experience or attain some exalted state, we can never emerge from the separate self condition of our humanity. And of course, we don't need to. <laughs> we are functioning perfectly as dream characters in being's dream. Simply, temporary apparent contraction of the energy that will all too soon dissolve back into the formless. So, ask your questions about self-realization awakening, and enlightenment. Take the instructions and create your own ideal routine of meditation and other practices. Do deep self-inquiry or deep surrender to the guru and God. And continue to try to break through as much as an illusion can convince itself it is successfully escaping the illusion. At the same time, fully embrace your humanity and that of every human and natural form around you. Know always that none of us ever get enlightened nor do we need to. That's just the ego's I thought. And shower everyone with the deepest love and compassion you can find within you. We are God and we are human. Energy delighting and in contracting into the dream of separateness playing hide-and-seek with itself, and then expanding back into the formless. What higher expression of love could there be than this? What else can we do but love? 
My love to all of you. Be free.